Okay, this is a thycloid inside of a chloroplast. This is the membrane that we call the double membrane. And what's going on here is a chemical reaction called photosynthesis. So we're going to have a couple of things happening. We're going to start with this right over here. I'm going to set this up so that it is working at optimal, see it working at 100%. This is a slow animation. See? You have the light coming in. We got the light coming in, and electrons are going to be excited. You're going to see the electrons coming out right here, and then you're going to see the water right here split. So let's see what happens. All right, right there, we got the electrons going right there. Here's our oxygen, and it is going to actually exit totally and become the oxygen that is in the going to go off like this. The oxygen that we breathe is going to form O2. Now right here we've got two H plus ions right here that come from the water and they're going to contribute to the H plus gradient in here that's going to drive ATP synthesis eventually. So what's going to go on is this is this is the first step. Water is split, electrons are excited, and light has hit here. Now we're going to continue, and you see the electrons enter the electron transport chain. This is an incredibly important biochemical pathway where the electrons move around the membrane from protein to protein in hopes of pumping H plus ions or getting other things done. Most of the time, for what we're going to be talking about this week, it's going to be working on H plus ions and pumping them, that's active transport where they're into an area of higher concentration right here as opposed to a lower concentration out here. So again, this is active, but we're using light energy, not ATP, to get that done. So we'll continue here in the electron transport chain. Okay, now here's the third step. An H plus ion is actually being pumped this way. It's being pumped into the cell. And this can happen several times just depending on how much energy the electron has. But this time, the way we're going to make this one work is just going to happen once. It again, is increasing the H plus concentration inside the cell. Now we're at our photosystem 1. This one's actually called photosystem 1. This one's photosystem 2, even though that's opposite order of the way they usually work. It's called that because they discovered this one first. And so this hits and it comes in and the electrons get re-excited. So they're going to get excited again by this energy. And up here, they re they're still in the electron transport chain. They come over here. Two things are happening. Now let's look right here first. It's kind of hard to see the drawing that I've made because I'm using black. But right here, an H plus ion is let allowed to go down its concentration gradient. By that happening, we can use that energy of going down the hill. You know, you're working, we're working with the hill here. So we're going to be talking about going down the hill. That's also a bad choice. Down the hill. So our energy is going to come from here, and it's going to drive ATP synthesis right here. This purple is going to go to a yellow. Also, over here, we're going to have something happening. Let's, let's see what happens. Okay, ATP has been formed. Your first your first section has formed. Now over here, we're going to have NADPH forming. Right there. That is the other energy containing molecule that is made by photosynthesis. Now this is all light reactions. We're not into the dark reactions yet at all. We'll talk about that a little bit later.